Explained by the Billy Meyer contacts. Mysteries, myths, legends, conspiracy theories, historical inaccuracies, and more. Compiled by David Chance, revised October 18, 2023. Chemtrail Conspiracy Theory Contact Report 445 Years ago, we privately talked about the so-called chemtrails, contrails from airplanes, which are used by conspiracy theorists to drive humans who believe in them crazy and terrified by writing idiotic books and making horrendous money. It has to be said that chemtrails is a new and completely idiotic conspiracy theory that has been circulating for about seven years now, which is based on the fact that contrails or sublimation trails caused by chemical means are supposed to poison the atmosphere and life on Earth. The inventors and supporters of the chemtrail conspiracy theory claim that the condensed aircraft exhaust fumes would contain other chemical additives and that the added chemicals would serve very specific purposes. All the nonsense of the conspiracy theory is mainly based on the following. Chemtrails are said to be superior to classic contrails in both durability and surface area. So, they are not supposed to be normal contrails, but they are supposed to be modified by toxic chemicals, which is why they would spread so wide and be long-lasting. It is said that before 1995 or even earlier, no such phenomenon had been observed and that consequently no images from earlier times exist that would show such new contrails. Contrary to the normal contrails of aircraft exhaust gases, the chemtrails are not supposed to consist of ice crystals, but of different chemical substances, which would cause conspicuously exactly parallel and chessboard-like patterns in the atmosphere, which allegedly do not occur with normal contrails, and thus with normal air traffic. The conspiracists' claims are that substances are sprayed over large areas in order to influence climate improvement. To this end, the planes are to spray and spread mainly aluminium and barium compounds, which will help to reduce the sun's radiation, thereby neutralizing the greenhouse effect on Earth caused by the CFCs and greenhouse gases. The conspiracy theorists claim that the aims of the alleged chemtrail measures are based on spraying the Earth's population. The purpose of this spraying is, on the one hand, to carry out medical experiments with genetically modified bacteria, but also that the whole thing is based on worldwide birth control in such a way that women and men are to be made infertile by the spraying of the chemicals. Another conspiracy thesis is that the spraying of the population via the airplanes affects the brain and consciousness of the Earth's population in such a way that it is subject to total mind control by governments, authorities, secret societies and secret services, as well as by the Jews, etc., and can be controlled and manipulated at will. If the alleged originators of the chemtrails are examined under the magnifying glass, then the range is very broad. At the beginning of the conspiracy theory, which goes back to the 20th century, the USA was considered the criminal creator of chemtrails. Shortly afterwards, the UNO was also considered extremely suspicious, after which the circle of alleged chemtrail perpetrators expanded more and more. Today even the classic opponents of conspiracy theories are suspected to be guilty, and of course the fee goo is one of them, because anyone who raves against the conspiracy theorists and their conspiracy nonsense is automatically guilty and involved in the alleged conspiracy. Among the allegedly evil conspirators are also the Freemasons and the Illuminati as well as the aforementioned alleged Jewish world conspiracy, etc., and who are being talked into a lot of nonsense by all the conspiracy theorists, who make a lot of money with their nonsense, which they write down in books, and who frighten their readers. In relation to the chemtrail conspiracy theory, the main criticism is based on the fact that the composition of a condensation trail cannot be determined from the ground. For this reason alone, the allegedly altered composition of the contrails is highly speculative. The truth of the composition and shape, etc., of the contrails as they appear today is based solely on the fact that the greenhouse effect is causing changes that were not there before. 
So it is not maliciously or by calculation chemicals added to aircraft exhaust gases that determine the form and speed of propagation and the durability of the contrails, but the changed atmospheric conditions in terms of temperature, humidity, and wind speed. For the rational and combinative person with some knowledge of physics, it can be seen that aircraft exhaust particles act as nuclei of crystallization at high humidity and bind further water vapor to spread very far when the wind currents are right. According to the Play Arin, neither aluminium nor barium can be found in the condensation trails of airplanes known as chemtrails, nor in aircraft fuels. And if the conspiracy theorists' assertions were true, then the sun's radiation on Earth would have decreased in recent years as a result of the alleged chemtrails, and would not have increased significantly, as has been proven. So this is another way of proving the conspiracy nonsense, because a successful application of the greenhouse effect purifying chemical additives in aircraft fuels, etc., would have had to have had a compensatory effect over all these years. The fact is, however, that the so-called albedo values, or the reflection back into space decrease, which means that the greenhouse effect does not decrease, but continues to increase. The conspiracy theory regarding the chemtrails is not only extremely dubious, but absolutely feeble-minded. But the book-writing conspiracy theorists are financially sound, because the unneeded buy the nonsense books, and let themselves be frightened by the nonsense they advertise, which in turn causes them to buy more books. But this truth, as it is proclaimed here, and as many other reasonable negative statements have also been made, leads to the fact that all this nonsense and nonsense is all the more reason for the unsophisticated faithful to regard it as proof that the respective secret services, organizations, secret societies and governments, etc., are actually behind conspiracies and would actually carry them out. So only a few really reasonable humans take the effective truth as fact, namely that the whole nonsense is only based on conspiracy theories while the uninitiated and those who are addicted to conspiracy theories feel all the more confirmed in their belief in conspiracy. Believing stupidity and stupidity are the breeding ground and the characteristic of all conspiracy theories, and stupidity and stupidity know no bounds. And what needs to be said further in regard to the alleged chemtrails is that the memory of the adult and average human being on Earth is quite weak. Because how else could it be that such unstable contrails as the alleged chemtrails are claimed to exist? Did not exist before, when no chemicals had been added to aviation fuels to compensate for the greenhouse effect, to take over the control of the Earth's human mind, or to poison mankind, to make it infertile, or even to eradicate at least two-three of it. Anyone who is a little bit involved in physics and... Meteorology knows that contrails are a kind of artificial cirrus cloud that has always existed since airplanes have been flying around in the Earth's atmosphere. But this goes back so far that no one can remember when the first aircraft contrails appeared. But it is clear that at that time there was no alleged organized climate change with regard to the chemtrails, as they were invented by the money-hungry, human-dumbing and crazy conspiracy theorists. The fact is that vapor trails that remain in the sky are, according to meteorology, clear signs that a weather change is imminent. Thus, even contrails that spread out like a fan, a chessboard, a strip, etc., have nothing to do with alleged chemtrails, but only with atmospheric factors such as temperature, local wind speed, humidity, etc. Thus, all alleged chemtrail phenomena can be explained as meteorological phenomena, but also as misinterpretations of good and accurate technical information, which are stylized by conspiracy theorists as fear and frightening ghosts. There is no denying that such conspiracy theories, as in the case of the alleged chemtrails, are fueled by scientific proposals to stop the greenhouse effect and global warming. Condensation trails, and therefore the alleged Chemtrails can only be observed locally all over the world, especially at airports and in aircraft holding patterns, where they are of course extremely concentrated, and more and more so because air traffic is constantly increasing. Logically, therefore, 
The contrails or alleged chemtrails of aircraft are not as widespread throughout the world as the conspiracy theorists claim, but are confined to the airspace above airports and adjacent areas, and to the flight paths of aircraft. This fact, however, is not taken into account because there is no money to be made from it, but only by a stupid conspiracy theory. It should be clear to any sensible person that esotericism and the like must of course be involved, because in these circles, the conspiracy theater about the alleged photon ring and the comet hale Bop took place in a similar context at the turn of the millennium, and a whole series of humans were driven to suicide by this conspiracy nonsense. Of the profit-greedy conspiracy theorists, who spread their horrendous nonsense and nonsense, their actions are irresponsible and criminal, because with their boundless nonsense, they drive intellectually weak or otherwise inexperienced, or believing humans into fear and terror, chase them through a thousand hells, and possibly even to suicide. And that a horrendous business is made with it is part of the daily routine which is why silly book descriptions are not uncommon, through which conspiracy theories are spread, as is shown in the following pattern. Patterns in the sky. Evidence of a global threat. Sometimes things are not what they seem. And then behind an impressive cloud formation is a possible, not a natural phenomenon, but a chemical bomb. For several months now, many humans have been experiencing an oppressive feeling when they look at the sky. This is due to mysterious contrails that do not dissolve after a few minutes but become wider, can be seen for hours, or even cover the sky with a gray veil. These chemtrails derived from contrail are, according to some experts, visible traces of secret experiments to stop or reverse man-made climate change. Are the chemicals used in these experiments really harmless? Is human collateral damage even relevant in such a gigantic experiment? Is there possibly much more to come, more insidious machinations behind this conspiracy in the sky? The first book on the subject answers some of these questions, and many new ones arise. For not all good things come from above. Well, conspiracy theories are well thought out and targeted manipulations from which humans start to suffer and fall into fear and terror. Conspiracy theories also manipulate public opinion which makes the book-writing conspiracy theorists a lot of money. But the humans who let themselves be influenced by the whole thing do not feel well anymore, become insecure and get even more attached to all the nonsense of the book writers, etc., in order to become conspiracy paranoiacs themselves, like the conspiracy theorists, which often leads to schizophrenic delusions, and therefore things and phenomena are seen and experienced that are not real, and do not stand up to any reality check. Contact report 672 20th century Kemp rails. Vapor trails are said to contain chemicals that affect the population. False condensation trails are visible long white streaks. Especially those formed in the wake of aircraft by water vapor and other exhaust gases, which form particularly behind high-flying jet aircraft when the humidity in the aircraft exhaust gases condenses. These long strip clouds or vapor trails have nothing to do with the conspiracy theory of Kemp rails. Also known as chemical trails, poison strips or poison clouds, which are supposed to correspond to the deliberate release of chemicals into the atmosphere. According to the nonsensical conspiracy theory, Airplanes are supposed to spray chemicals on behalf of states in order to change the weather and climate. Poison people or otherwise influence world affairs, which, however, corresponds to nothing but complete nonsense. Chemborasso Mountain Contact Report 031 Concerning Mount Everest, I will have to correct you, since it is not the highest mountain on Earth. Your scientists count the elevation of land or of a mountain in meters above sea level. That is the exact mistake, for such measurements should not use sea level as the starting point. The starting point for all measurements should be from the center of the planet, which never changes. 
This is because planetary shapes are never exactly round, but tend more towards the elliptical. When you say that Mount Everest is the highest mountain of Earth, then this is correct only with respect to sea level. But in truth, it is around 2,150 meters lower than the highest mountain of your world. When you measure Earth mountains, then the center of the planet is decisive, and measured from there, you will see the highest mountain on Earth is not Mount Everest. One of the highest mountains, as far as I know, is Chimborazo in Ecuador. Surely, and by calling it, you have named the highest mountain on Earth. This mountain is indeed surrounded by many myths and legends, and in earlier times has played a very important role in the activities of extraterrestrial intelligences. Christian fish symbol, itches, itches. Contact report 834. Human beings do not know that thoughts and words in any case set off swinging waves and influence other human beings. But this is generally the case, and therefore the attitude of human beings, apart from weapons, also creates swinging waves and causes much enmity, mischief, faith, greed, hatred, murder, revenge and retaliation, as well as destruction. And that Christianity interprets your ancient sign for murder and destruction as a fish, and moreover abusively declares it as a Christian symbol, I find that simply awesome. As far as I know, at least that's how Sfath explained it to me, already in ancient times, a Pleiadian woman called Phacoma showed or gave this to a certain Pericles as a symbol of secret murder and destruction, but he did not use it himself, though the symbol was somehow handed down anyway, like this. Symbol. This is known to me. Our ancient symbol sign for secret and subterranean murder and destruction of truth was unfortunately misused already in ancient times of the first Christianity.